In our previous video, we tested the first ever Frankenmonkey rocket motor. This is a combination PVC and steel case motor filled with flexi fuel sugar fuel. Now, although the motor appeared to be putting out a good amount of thrust and it didn't explode, it ultimately failed by blowing out the bulkhead end. We're back today to improve the design and test Frankenmonkey Model 2. Oh, hi. Hey, normally I would wait until way further on in the video to ask you to subscribe to the channel, but I just wanted to take a moment to tell you why I think you should subscribe to Rotary Rocketry. I've got a ton of projects coming up. I'm working on a completely new formula for rocket fuel. I'm working on a really fun parachute project, a nose cone project, and I'm planning on doing a complete build tutorial for our four inch eliminator rocket, which is my favorite rocket to build and fly. On top of all that, I'm putting together a completely new filming studio, so we'll be able to make videos no matter how ridiculously hot or cold it gets. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss out on any of our future content. We've also been working on a couple of really nice new graphics for our Rotary Rocketry t-shirt, so be sure to check that out. There's a link down in the description. Oh, and if at any time during this video you like what we're doing, don't forget to hit that like button. We really appreciate it. Now the name Frankenmonkey for this rocket motor is based off of the name Frankenstein because just like Frankenstein's monster, this motor was developed using ideas from several other different rocket motors. The general intent here was to develop a motor that has the simplicity of a PVC case but the strength of a steel case. Now the motor performed very well with the exception of blowing out the bulkhead end. So we're going to work on making some improvements to how both the bulkhead and the nozzle are held into the motor. Now the bulkhead and the nozzle of this motor are made from anchoring cement. And the way they're held into the PVC pipe is very similar to how it's held in on this little motor we call the modified dart monkey. We drill a series of holes around the PVC so that when the anchoring cement is poured in, it fills in those holes and that keeps that anchoring cement from pushing out. Now on the Frankenmonkey motor, I drilled 8 quarter inch diameter holes for the nozzle and 8 quarter inch diameter holes for the bulkhead. So clearly that wasn't strong enough to hold the bulkhead end in. So on today's motor, we're just going to be making one simple change. We're still going to be drilling eight holes, but instead they're going to be half inch diameter. Now the reason I drilled quarter inch diameter holes in the first one was I was trying not to weaken the PVC by taking out so much material, but clearly the anchoring cement just simply wasn't strong enough in those eight holes. So this larger improved design should be a lot stronger. I'm going to go ahead and build this motor and we'll go out and test it. i 
in the vast of space, no limits in sight. But from chaos, now it claims it's right. Every star it falls, it's a witness to its fight. Frank, you're lucky, roll up, blazing, you have a play. Gravity defied, it's the Red Wolf's reign. Between devil and Sigourm, it's wild and untamed. With circus blazing hot from a calico brain. Frank, you're lucky, roll up, can't be contained. With thunder and fire, the monkey takes flight. With gears crying inside. Well, that was disappointing. Even more disappointing than the failure of the Frankenmonkey 1 motor where the bulkhead blew out. You see, on Frankenmonkey 1, I always knew that there was a good possibility that either the nozzle or the bulkhead would blow out just because of the way it was installed. Now, this improved design did seem to hold up better. The bulkhead and the nozzle are still in place, but we got blow by. Now, it occurred on the bulkhead end first. Now, basically, that means that the hot gases got in contact with the PVC pipe, blew through the PVC pipe, and then the gases came out here between the PVC and the steel. And on this bulkhead where that occurred first, we even blew a hole through the steel pipe, which is a bit amazing. Now, we also got some blow-by on the nozzle end where gases came out between the PVC and the steel pipe. Didn't blow through the pipe, but did cause a little bit of a bulge there. Now, I'm not completely sure when this occurred. This may not have actually been a failure because that melting of the PVC might have occurred after the fuel was depleted and could have been caused by the heat of the smoke element that burns for a long time after the fuel. So if that did melt the PVC pipe and then come out there during the smoke element burn, then this really isn't a problem. The problem we need to look at here is the bulkhead end. Now the bulkhead end was the end that failed on Frankenmonkey 1 and failed first on Frankenmonkey 2. So clearly we have some kind of an issue at the bulkhead end. Now, I've got a couple of different theories about why this might have happened. Um, and one solution might be just to put some type of a protective liner on the inside of the PVC, either a fiberglass liner or some cardstock, multi layers of paper, um, just to help protect the PVC just for another second or so so that it doesn't melt. Um, the other possibility is that it's the smoke element that's giving us some trouble here. Now this is the first motor that I've designed that has a smoke element in it and it's basically an epoxy potassium nitrate mixture that burns really hot but really slow and that produces a smoke trail behind the rocket for probably about 10 seconds after the fuel is depleted. It just makes it easier to track the rocket in the sky. But the smoke element could be the cause of our problem here. It's just something I don't have a lot of experience with. And we are blowing out in the area around the smoke element. So I'm thinking about doing a Frankenmonkey 3 and simply removing the smoke element from that particular one. So we have much more of a traditional rocket motor style. We have a nozzle, the fuel, and the bulkhead, and that's it. I think that would be a good test because if the smoke element is the problem, that's going to tell us right away. Otherwise, um, if that one fails, then we would clearly need to do some type of more protection on the inside of the PVC. So, thanks for watching. We really appreciate it. If you're not subscribed to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. Hit that like button before you leave. We'll be back with a lot more content, including hopefully the build of Frank and Monkey 3. We'll see you next time. In the vastness of space, no limits in sight. But from chaos, now it claims it's right. Every star it falls, it's a witness to its fight. Frank, you're lucky, roll up, blazing, you have a play. Gravity defied, it's the Red Wolf's reign. Between devil and Sigourm, it's wild and untamed. With circus blazing hot from a calico brain. Frank, you're lucky, roll up, can't be contained.